Hi friends, welcome back. If you're enjoying this yoga content, go ahead and hit subscribe for new videos every Friday. Today's video is going to be all about Shirshasana or Headstand for Beginners. So we're basically going to run through a series of foundational poses in order to get us upside down through this inversion, through this headstand. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And just a reminder, you can use this video as steps to your journey. So as you get stronger, as your strength starts to build amongst this foundation, you could always come back and work through a little bit more. Be kind to yourself. Be safe first and foremost. We're going to go ahead and get started. Coming onto our mats here. And from here, just allowing yourself to be seated. Allow the shoulders to melt away from the ears. We're going to find a measurement on our mats. So of course, this is if you're nice and warmed up through the entire body, through the shoulders, through the um, arms, also through the core. So we're gonna get started here, coming down all the way to the earth. And first measuring off. So a good measurement or key measurement here is to bring the palms to grasp the biceps and then allow the forearms to create a number 11. So immediately your palms are probably going to wanna to come out or come in depending on how your body feels, but try to keep your forearms at a number 11 here. And just from here, can you take a moment to feel the earth, feel your breath, inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, press the forearms away from you, feel the protraction in your shoulder blades. And I just want you to hang out here for a moment so you can feel the difference between pressing the shoulders away from the ears and dumping the weight. So we want to be safe. We want our foundation to be nice and strong, just like a house. If your foundation is off, the entire thing is going to come crumbling down. So from here, maybe you start to feel whatever you feel on the top parts of the shoulder and the bicep. And maybe you just come down to a child's pose and give yourself a little rest. Remember, this is your journey. And be kind to yourself through this journey. It doesn't happen overnight. So take your time. Take one more breath here. And then come back into this little forearm tabletop. And from here, again, you can check grabbing the biceps to make sure that your forearms create the number 11. And from here, maybe you press into the forearms, slightly protract the shoulder blades again. Send the gaze in between the hands. And then exhale, release. One more breath so you can feel the shoulders pull away from the ears and the navel going in towards the spine. Exhale, maybe you release back to child's pose. Now, bringing the palms to grasp with one another, we're creating a little cap or a little helmet for ourselves here. So between our elbows and our palms, we're creating a triangle. So this foundation is going to be the strength that holds us. So checking those biceps coming down to the earth, pressing into the forearms, protracting the shoulder blades. I'm bringing my palms together. The outside of my palms are pressing into the earth and I'm protracting my shoulder blades, maybe allowing the top of my head to come down onto the mat. So the top of your head is the flat portion of your skull and just nestle yourself in there. So we're pressing into the flat portion of our head, pressing into our forearms. My head is basically not even touching the earth here. So I can move my neck freely back and forth until I just slightly place the top of my head onto the mat. My little helmet, my little cap here is nestled in. I'm pressing into those forearms. Take one full breath. And then exhale, release back down ha, into that child's pose. Give yourself a break. If you're ready to move forward, we're taking all those steps and bringing them together. 
So coming onto the forearms, bringing the hands together to clasp, sending the crown of the head in between, so the flat part of the head onto the earth. And from here, I'm pressing into my forearms, letting the shoulders move away from the ears. And then I tuck my toes. From here, can I press into the feet, lift off, finding this modified pose. So I'm still keeping that bend in my knees. Maybe I start to straighten out the legs, keeping my chin tucked in towards my chest. Maybe that micro bend is still there on my knees. And if you're ready, can you start to walk the feet forward? And starting with one foot, maybe one lifts off the earth. And then maybe you come back down, trying the other foot. Maybe that tucks into the chest and lifts off the earth as well. Maybe you come back down and find a child's pose here. Take one full inhale. This counter stretch is really important. The last thing you want to do is tire yourself out so you're unable to really give it your all. So if you're tired, we've moved through these steps thus far. You can keep practicing. But if you're ready to move forward, we're coming back into that tabletop pose. Clasping the palms. Bringing the crown of the head down onto the mat. Can I press into my forearms, tuck the toes, rise, and start to walk my feet closer towards the forearms? Now here, maybe that one foot lifts off the earth. Maybe you start to feel the stack and pull the other knee in towards the chest. Pressing the forearms away, shoulders away from the ears, stay active, squeeze the thighs together. From here, Maybe you start to expand through the sits bones, expands through the toes, send the feet high towards the sky, but keep those thighs squeezed nice and tight. Again, pressing into those forearms, sending the shoulders away from the ears, and to find balance, can you bring the navel in towards the spine? Take a few breaths here if you can, or slowly bend into the knees. Bring the toes down towards the earth. And then find your counter stretch, maybe a child's pose here. Bring the knees nice and wide. Ha. Remember, this is something that takes time. It's not something that can just happen overnight. So be kind to yourself. Take that counter stretch and focus on that foundation. We're gonna play with it one more time just to walk us through the entire thing from start to finish. Come onto your mats, biceps to measure where my forearms are going to come onto the earth. Clasp my palms to create that little cap. Send the crown of my head to nestle in between the palms, tuck the toes, start to straighten out the legs. Start to walk the feet towards the body and maybe one toe lifts off the earth. Maybe you start to feel that stack and that second knee comes in towards the chest, squeeze it in. From here, can you start to lift through the toes? Can you start to extend the legs, squeezing those thighs together to find stillness here? Navel in towards the spine, find a little bit of stillness. And then when you're ready to safely come down, tuck the knees back into the chest. Find that counter stretch, maybe a child's pose. Ha. <sighs> Be kind to yourself here. And remember to be kind to yourself through this practice. This was just a little bit of a beginner's portion of how to get into headstand, a series. Next week, we're going to play with blocks and show you how to do that then. But thanks so much for joining me, closing our practice off, bringing the fingertips to gather all the energy that we've created. Palms kiss to seal our intentions and back through heart center. 
Thank you for allowing me to guide you through this tutorial practice. The perfectly imperfect student in me bows, honors, and respects the teachers in you. Namaste.